I am Dr. Nilesh Dani, working as a lecturer at Government Polytechnic Rajkot. Under this series of lectures for diploma uh, engineering students of second semester, <coughs> we are discussing the subject Advanced Mathematics Group 1 and Group 2. We are in the third lecture of this series and our topic is differentiation and its application. Differentiation as we know is very important aspect in the engineering and technology for mathematics is concerned and as we have seen yesterday uh, last time uh, we have differentiated uh, seen the derivative of function uh, as limit h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx upon h that limit is a derivative of function uh, we have seen uh, some of the standard functions and its derivative like this derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1 derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x log a derivative of log x is 1 upon x derivative of constant is 0 and derivative of sin x is cos x similarly we have seen some more uh, functions and its derivative like this also we have seen working rules that addition for addition multiplication and division and constant multiple uh, we know that uh, so a derivative of summation or subtraction of two function is equal to uh, derivative of uh, summation of derivatives of the respective functions as well as uh, derivative of u into v is v into du by dx plus u into dv by dx uh, also we have seen that derivative of u divided by v which cos into of two function uh, that is v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx upon v square and uh, if we multiply by constant to the function and differentiate uh, that can be <coughs> evaluated by k times derivative of u with respect to x. So these are uh, working rules we have seen last time. We have <coughs> seen some of the example based on this. Now the question is what is dy by dx for y is equal to sin 2x. As we have seen last time that derivative of sin x is cos x but here in place of sin x we have 2x. So in place of x we have 2x. So if is this dy by dx is equal to cos 2x? The answer is no. We can't directly differentiate like this. Then the question arises how to differentiate this type of functions. So far we have seen the derivatives of the uh, standard functions and the function obtained by their uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. But if we come across such type of situation where y is equal to sin 2x or like that function like that, uh, how to get derivative of that? So that answer is the derivative of composite function. So how to differentiate a composite function? For that we let us see what is composition of two function. So if we have function fx and gx then composition of f and g it is now, uh, known as fog of x as f of gx that is called the composition of two functions. For example if I take fx is equal to sin x and gx is equal to 2x then the composition function of f and g is sin 2x. Sin I have taken as a red that is f function and second function with blue color. So if we take a composition. So as we have seen just now y is equal to sin 2x is a composition of two function. So how to get derivative of this. So for that the chain rule is used and what is that let us see. So if y is differentiable at 
u is equal to gx where u is a function of x and gx is differentiable at x then composite function y is equal to f of gx is differentiable differentiable at x and its derivative y is equal uh, sorry dy by dx is equal to f dash gx means derivative of f at gx into g dash x that is derivative of g at x so this is equal to dy by du means derivative of y with respect to u this is derivative of y with respect to u into derivative of u with respect to x so in this situation y is a function of u and u is a function of x so first we differentiate y with respect to u and then u with respect to x now to understand this situation we have a graphic uh, here this is x x this is u of gx means u is a function of x so x and u are related now this is y is equal to f of u means y is a function of u so if i make change in x there is a change in u and as a change of u there will be change in y so as a result in change in x we have a change in y so we can get rate of change in y with respect to x that is by the red line that is the composition so it is a rate of change at x in f of gx uh, that is f of f dash of gx into g dash x so this is what composition function so what is dy by dx as we have seen it is not cos 2x so how to get the derivative so now we have an answer as we know the chain rule so here if i take 2x is equal to u so i take u is equal to 2x so y will become sin u y will if i replace this 2x by u we have sin u so y is a function of u u is a function of x so i can use chain rule now to get dy by dx so derivative of y with respect to x is now dy by du into du by dx derivative of y with respect to u derivative of sin u with respect to u is cos u so it is equal to cos u and derivative of u with respect to x derivative of u is 2x so derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2 so it is 2 now replacing the value of u here in this we have dy by dx is equal to 2 times cos 2x so we got the answer that derivative of sin 2x is equal to y uh, 2 times cos 2x so we whenever we have composition of two function uh, that derivative can be obtained by chain rule and chain rule is a product of two derivatives uh, how we can use this chain rule or what type of functions uh, in what type of function we can use uh, this chain rule let us see on a teletop so if say y is equal to e raised to x we know that dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is say e raised to x but if there is a small change in x say in place of x say e minus x is there in place of x minus x then i cannot write dy by dx as simply e raised to minus x so what I need, I need to take u is equal to minus x. So y becomes e raised to u. Now y is a function of u, u is a function of x. Now if I want derivative of y with respect to x, it is equal to 
derivative of y with respect to u into derivative of u with respect to x. Now what is this derivative of y with y is equal to e raised to u. So derivative of y with respect to u is e raised to u because we know that derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x with respect to x. So derivative of e raised to u with respect to u is e raised to u. And derivative of u with respect to x is du by dx is derivative of minus x with respect to x is minus 1. So this is derivative of uh, u with respect to x. This is derivative of uh, u y with respect to u. If we substitute this two value, this value here, we will get e raised to u into, if we substitute this value, that is minus 1 here, we have minus e raised to u. But what is u? u is equal to minus x. So, so derivative of y with respect to x is equal to e raised to x minus x e raised to minus x. So you can see that in the function we have seen so far, uh, if there is a minor change in place of x we have taken minus x, then also its derivative uh, changes. So <coughs> whenever in the standard form we have a replacement of x as a function of x, whether it is minus x or 2x or any function, we must use chain rule. To know this about uh, chain rule and more examples, uh, let us see the next slide. First we see some of the simple examples by which we can understand how the chain rule can be applicable. So uh, first we take a very simple example that is to find dy by dx for y is equal to 4x minus 3 raised to 6. Here there are two functions one is x raised to 6 and another is 4x minus 3. So here we take u is equal to 4x minus 3 and y becomes if we replace 4x minus 3 by u in this equation we have y is equal to u raised to 6. So u that is taken as a red colored font and now we can use chain rule as y is a function of u and u is a function of x. So dy by dx is dy by du into du by dx. So first we differentiate y with respect to u. What is u? Y? Y is u raised to 6. So derivative of u raised to 6 as we know the derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1. Here the derivative of this u raised to 6 is 6 u raised to 5 into derivative of u with respect to x that is derivative of 4x minus 3. 4x derivative of 4x is 4 into 1 that is 4 minus derivative of 3 is 0 so it is 4. So we have 6 into 4 24 and again we replace u by 4x minus 3 gives uh, 24 4x minus 3 raised to 5. So this is the derivative of 4x minus 3 raised to 6. So here it is a composition of two function the one is u raised to 6 and another is 4x minus 3. So whenever we have such type of function we can use chain rule in order to differentiate the function. Let us take one more simple example with y is equal to root of x square minus 2x plus 5. So this is composition of two function one is root x and another is x square minus 2x plus 5. So this is a composition of these two function. So taking x square minus 2x plus 5 as u, we have y is equal to u raised to 1 half. Square root 
x is x raised to one half so square root u is u raised to one half so this is y is equal to u raised to one half that is a function of u and u is a function of x so once again we use chain rule that is dy by dx is dy by du into du by dx derivative of y with respect to u u is equal to one half uh, y is equal to u raised to one half so derivative of y with respect to u is u one half u raised to minus one half that is derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus one and here n is equal to one half so we have one half u raised to one half minus one that is minus one half into derivative of x square minus two x plus five derivative of x square is two x derivative of two x is two and derivative of five is zero so in all these examples we consider u as a red color and uh, the u as a black font so this is how we can use the chain rule now substituting the value of u that is x square minus 2x plus 5 in this equation and taking two common from these two terms we have 2 times x minus 1 upon 2 and if we substitute the value of u here it is x square minus 2x plus 5 here and it has minus one half of power so if we take in the denominator it becomes plus and one half power is square root as we know so it is root of x square minus 2x plus 5 now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so we have x minus 1 upon root of x square minus 2x plus 5 that is derivative of y with respect to x uh, again we can have the one more interpretation of chain rule uh, to better understanding and to make the thing comfortable and easy uh, each time to assume u and then to differentiate uh, with respect to y with respect to u and u with respect to x uh, we can uh, make a rule that is a another format of chain rule uh, that makes our work more easy and comfortable how it is outside inside rule in some it sometimes helps to think about the chain rule in this way to make the solution more easy how if y is a function of x uh, sorry y is a f of gx then derivative of y with respect to x is equal to f dash gx into g dash x. Now this f dash gx is derivative of outside function. Outside function is f. Outside function is f and inside function is g. So this first encircled quantity is derivative of outside function at inside function so we keep inside function as it is and differentiate outside function with respect to x and then derivative of inside function with respect to x so this is g dash x so this is called outside inside rule it is one type of chain rule or it is another uh, way to represent the chain rule but here we don't need to assume chain uh, u or uh, other notations we directly get the derivative using this so now one word will use this outside inside rule to differentiate the function for that let us see some more example uh, so the next example is dy by dx we have to find for y is equal to root of 2x square minus 2x plus 5. This is the same example we have seen using uh, assuming u is equal to x square minus 2x plus 5. So here we will not assume x square minus 2x plus 5 as u but we will directly use 
outside inside rule how it will be so uh, we say dy by dx is equal to derivative of this function it is actually u raised to one half so it is or root x you can say so derivative of root x is one half inside function we keep as it is and rest to minus one half into derivative of inside function that is x square minus 2x plus 5 so what it means it means we have inside left alone inside left alone means we keep inside function as it is and differentiate the outside function with respect to x and then derivative of inside function so derivative of inside function is 2x minus 2 so this is actually a chain rule but it is a another way to represent it now considering two uh, taking two common from this two term and uh, it has minus sign so if we take in the denominator we have 2 into x minus 1 upon 2 into root of this so 2 2 will get cancelled and we will get this so this is the same example which we have solved using uh, chain rule and this is also chain rule but uh, another type or another way to represent the chain rule so now onward we will see or we will solve the example uh, in the uh, outside inside rule now let us solve some more example we are taking simple examples to understand the concept after uh, some functions or some uh, simple examples we will see some complicated examples to evaluate their derivative using chain rule uh, we have to find dy by dx for y is equal to e raised to sin x so in place of x we have here sin x so here we know that derivative of e raised to x with respect to x is e raised to x but in place of x we are given here sin x in place of x we are given sin x so here what we will do first we will differentiate this function with respect to sin x and that means here in place of x we are given sin x so here in the derivative we replace x by sin x that will gives us e raised to sin x into derivative of sin x we are replacing x by sin x so we have to differentiate by its derivative means inside function is x and outside function is e raised to x here so derivative of sin x is cos x and hence it is cos x into e raised to sin x so this is how we can differentiate the uh, composite function using inside uh, outside inside rule here we are not assuming u or anything but directly we are differentiating outside function uh, keeping inside function as it is and then into derivative of inside function uh, let us have one more example uh, find der derivative of y with respect to x for y is equal to log cos x this is also a standard function log x and here in place of log x we have log cos x so x is replaced by cos x so derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 upon x but in place of x we have cos x so what we will do we replace x here on right hand side by cos x to get the outside function derivative so it is 1 upon cos x into we have replaced x by cos x so we have to differentiate by uh, we have to multiply by derivative of cos x with respect to x so here 1 upon cos x into derivative of cos x with respect to x it is minus sin x so 1 upon cos x into derivative of cos x is minus sin x here we have used the color code inside function is written as a road red color font in a red color font so you can easily understand how what is inside uh, function and what is outside function now sin x upon cos x is equal to 10x so it is minus 10x so derivative of log cos x 
is equal to minus 10x. Now, one more example where we have to differentiate y with respect to x for y is equal to sin square x. Now, here we have two function, one is x square and another is sin x. So, in we know that derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x, but x here is replaced by sin x. So, here if I take the derivative of sin square x, here also we I have on right hand side, I have to replace x by sin x. So, it becomes 2 sin x. So, it becomes 2 sin x. So, derivative of outside function is 2 sin x. It is 2 sin x into derivative of sin x with respect to x. Derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. So, it is 2 sin x into cos x. And as we know that 2 sin x into cos x is equal to sin 2x. So, it is so sin 2x. So, derivative of sin square x is equal to log y, uh, sorry, it is sin 2x. Derivative of sin square x is equal to sin 2x. Now, <coughs> let us see some example uh, which can be solved using chain rule and we use outside inside rule here till we have seen some of the simple example where we have to just uh, use direct formula and replace x with some another function. Now see some uh, example, first example find dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x for y is equal to log sin x upon 1 plus cos x. So, it is a composition of two function, one is log x and another is sin x upon 1 plus cos x. So, here as we know that log of u divided by v is log of u minus log of v. So, we simplify first y is equal to log sin x minus log 1 plus cos x. As we know that log of u divided by v is log u minus log v. Now, here in the first term log sin x inside function is sin x and outside function is log x and in second term inside function is 1 plus cos x with red font and outside function is log x. So, as we have seen derivative of log x is 1 upon x but in place of x we have sin x here. So, we have 1 upon sin x that is derivative of log sin x keeping sin x as it is into derivative of sin x. Derivative of sin x is cos x. So, here we have uh, multiply by derivative of sin x minus this minus derivative of log 1 plus cos x. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. So, again in place of x we have 1 plus cos x. So, it is 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus cos x into derivative of 1 plus cos x. Derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So, it is minus sin x. Now, taking LCM, we have sin x into 1 plus cos x is LCM. So, we have sin x into 1 plus cos x is LCM here. So, here sin x is there. So, we multiply cos x with 1 plus cos x minus this minus and this minus will become plus here. So, it is plus and here we have 1 plus cos x is there in the denominator. So, we multiply this quantity with sin x with sin x. So, we have sin x into this sin x. Now, if we open this bracket, so we carry forward this term on the next slide. The same term we have. Now, if we open this bracket, we have cos x into 1 that is cos x and cos x into cos x is cos square x plus sin x into sin x is sin square x. So, we have 
cosec in cosec into one that is cosec plus uh, cosec into cosec that is cos square x plus sin x into sin x is sin square x. As we know that cosec square plus sin square x is equal to one. So this can be replaced. The encircled quantity can be replaced by one. So that is equal to cos x plus one upon one plus cos x. Uh, in the numerator and denominator, the red color quantity that is one plus cos x is common. So we can cancel it out. So it is one upon sin x. So one upon sin x is cos x. So derivative of y with respect to x is cos x. So derivative of log sin x upon one plus cos x is equal to cos x. Next example. Uh, before we see next example, uh, let us generalize the chain rule. Uh, if we have a y as a function of u, u is a function of v, and v is a function of x. So we have a composition of three function, f, g, and v. These all functions are say differentiable. Then composite function f of g of h x. is also differentiable at x and derivative of y is f dash at x f dash at g of h x into g dash of h x into h dash x or in another word we can say dy by du into du by dv into dv by dx uh, to understand this in detail let us have a look on te tele top say here y is a function of u u is a function of v and v is a function of x so we have three functions now y is a function of u u is a function of v and v is a function of x and we want to differentiate y with respect to x so as we change the value of x there will be change in y due to that there will be change in x Uh, sorry in u and as a result there will be change in y so derivative of y is equal to derivative of y with respect to u that is this derivative of y with respect to u into derivative of u with respect to v that is this derivative of v with respect to uh, u with respect to v and into derivative of v with respect to x derivative of v so it is just the generalized form of composition of two functions here we have composition of three function so then we use chain rule like this if you have a composition of four function so y is a function of u u is a function of v v is a function of w and w is a function of x then the same way we can get derivative of y with respect to x is derivative of y with respect to u into derivative of u with respect to v into derivative of v with respect to w into derivative of w with respect to x so this is composition of four function this is composition of three function so this way we have compo if we have composition of two function or three functions or four functions we can use the chain rule in the same way uh, this uh, composition of three uh, functions uh, can be differentiated using outside inside rule also so let us see one example here we have three function uh, that is log x another is sec x and the third is 2x plus 5 so we have three functions log x sec x and 2x plus 5 and this y is equal to log of sec of 2x plus 5 is a composition of three functions so here we have to use chain rule or inside outside rule 
two times how let us see so derivative of y with respect to x here log x derivative of log x is 1 upon x but in place of x we have sec of 2x plus 5 in place of sec uh, x we have sec 2x plus 5 so it is 1 upon sec 2x plus 5 as we know that in place of x we have sec 2x plus 5 so we multiply by its derivative that is derivative of sec 2x plus 5 now again we see this function that is sec 2x plus 5 is a composition of two function one is sec x and another is 2x plus 5 so again we need to use chain rule here to get its derivative so once again we use chain rule here so 1 upon sec 2x plus 5 is as it is into derivative of sec x is sec x into 10x but in place of x we have 2x plus 5 so it is sec 2x plus 5 into 10 2x plus 5 again in place of x we have 2x plus 5 so we differentiate by uh, derivative we multiply by derivative of 2x plus 5 so here we see that sec 2x plus 5 and sec 2x plus 5 is there in the numerator and denominator so we can cancel it and here derivative of 2x plus 5 is 2 so we have it 2 into 10 2x plus 5 so the derivative is 2 times 10 2x plus 5 so derivative of log sec 2x plus 5 is 2 10 2x plus 5 this in this example we have composition of three function log x sec x and 2x plus 5 now <clears throat> let us see one more example here uh, we are given y is equal to e raised to sine log x so we have composition of three functions once again and we are asked to find derivative of y uh, let us solve this on the uh, tally top say the function y is equal to e raised to sine log x or ln x we use ln x for log x to the base now there are three function one is e raised to x another is sin x and another is log x so we have composition of these three function here x is replaced by sin ln x here x is replaced by ln x so for this outside function is e raised to x and inside function is this for this outside function is sin x and inside function is log x and this is the standard function so this is what we are given here now in order to get derivative of y with respect to x first we differentiate this that is e raised to x derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x but here in place of x we are given sin ln x so here also we replace x by sin ln x so it is e raised to sin ln x now in place of x we have sin ln x so we have to differentiate uh, sorry dif multiply by derivative of sin ln x we have to multiply by derivative of sin ln x now <coughs> this is e raised to sin log x into derivative of this is again uh, we have to use chain rule now it is standard function or outside function is sin x and inside function is log x so derivative of sin x is cos x 
इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी हैव एल एन एक्स और लोग एक्स सो हियर वी हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस एक्स बाय सो इट इज कोश लोग एक्स अगेन वी हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट लोग एक्स हियर एंड वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय इट सो वी multiply by derivative of log x so it is e raise to sin log x into cos log x into derivative of log x is 1 this is standard form so now we can directly put the limit so this is cos x into e raise to sin log x upon x this is derivative of y with respect to x uh in the slide let us see the same thing right as we have seen it is e raised to sin log x into derivative of sin log x now derivative of sin is cos so it is cos log x into derivative of cos so it is the uh, derivative of y with respect to x so here we have composition of three functions and we use chain rule two times one is here and another is here so uh, we can differentiate the functions using chain rule in this way and now we have some exercise for you uh, but let me solve one or two examples here uh, let us solve the first example that is y is equal to log of x plus root of x square plus a square and we have to find its derivative that is dy by dx so the given function is log of x plus root of x square plus a square and we are asked to find the derivative of y with respect to x now here we have dy by dx is as we know derivative of log log x is 1 upon x but in place of x we have x plus root of x square plus a square so here we replace this x by this quantity we replace by this quantity so we have this is 1 upon x plus root of x square plus a square now as x is replaced by this we have to multiply by its derivative so it is d by dx of x plus root of x square plus a square so <coughs> the outside function is log x derivative of log x is 1 by x so we have in place of x we have x plus root of x square plus a square so we replace x here by this quantity so we get this into x is replaced by this quantity so we have to multiply by its derivative so we have now the first term that is 1 upon x plus root of x square plus a square is as it is into derivative of this now derivative of x with respect to x is 1 derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus derivative of this function this is a, again a composition a composite function composite function of root x and x square plus a square so derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x 
this is derivative of root x so derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x and in place of x we have x square plus a square so we again replace this x by x square plus a square so it is 1 upon 2 root of x square plus a square into d by dx that is derivative of x square plus a square with respect to x so this is derivative of x plus root of x square plus a square derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of this root of x square plus a square derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x so it is 1 upon 2 root of x square plus a square but in place of x we have x square plus a square in place of this so again we differentiate this function and multiply it here so we have d by dx of x square plus a square now this is equal to 1 upon x plus root of x square plus a square into here this is 1 plus derivative of this is 2x derivative of x square is 2x and derivative of a square is 0 as it is constant upon 2 root of x square plus a square so here 2 and 2 this will get cancelled and hence we have 1 upon x plus root of x square plus a square into here if we take this as LCM we have root of x square plus a square plus x upon root of x square plus a square so here these two terms this term and this term they are common so we can cancel it out so we have 1 upon root of x square plus a square this is derivative of y with respect to x for the given function log x plus root of x square plus a square so this way we can differentiate the any given function which is a composition composite function of more or uh, two or more functions by chain rule in this way we will not every time use u v as a notation but <coughs> whatever standard rule we have we use it and in place of x whatever function of x is given we multiply by its derivative here <coughs> as here we have seen that derivative of log x is a standard function and its derivative is 1 upon x so in place of x we are given x plus root of x square plus a square so x in place of x we are given a function of x so here we replace x by that and multiply by its derivative so this is the way by which we can get the uh, derivative of composite function <clears throat> one more exercise let us do say find dy by dx for y is equal to sec x uh, sorry log sec x plus 10x here the function is y is equal to log sec x plus 10x and we are asked to find its derivative so again we have composition of two function one is log x and another is sec x plus 10x so these are two functions 
uh, and its composition is given. So again we use the same chain rule to get derivative of y with respect to x is equal to derivative of log x as we have seen derivative of log x is 1 upon x and here in place of x we have sec x plus 10 x so again we replace this x by sec x plus 10 x so we have 1 upon sec x plus 10 x now here x is replaced by a function of x so we multiply by derivative of that function that is sec x plus 10 x derivative of sec x plus 10 x so each time in the standard formula uh, whatever replacement of x is there we have to multiply by its derivative now this is 1 upon sec x plus 10 x now derivative of it, this is sec x into 10 x and this is sec square x derivative of 10 x is sec square x sec x is common from this two so sec x into this is 10 x plus sec x if we take sec x common from this two we have 10 x plus 1 sec x is there divided by sec x plus 10 x now this sec x and 10 x sec x plus 10 x will get cancelled so it is sec x so derivative of y with respect to x is sec x so this is the second exercise uh, i left two uh, examples for you to evaluate this last two you try yourself and also you uh, do more practice of this composite uh, derivative of composite function because uh, whenever any function given to us may not be in a simple form it may be a composition of uh, two or more functions so now we have more of uh, concepts which helps us to differentiate a large number of functions uh, earlier we can differentiate only the functions which are either standard function or their addition or subtraction or multiplication or division but now we can differentiate the functions which are the uh, composition of all that standard functions uh, some you practice some of the example yourself of this topic and make uh, yourself confident thank you